Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. In today's video, I will be unboxing three fairy loot boxes. So the May, June, and July box. I recorded these unboxings at different times. I look different in every single shot of them. Uh, so please don't mind that. <laughs> and do know that I am a fairy loot rep, meaning that they send these boxes to me for free in exchange for an honest review. Honest, my own opinion. But overall, I am a huge fan of fairy loot. You are allowed to know that. <laughs> is a Crescent City inspired item, but it is a ceramic pot. Okay, a ceramic pot, but I don't know what you could use it for because it has like a hole on the bottom. Am I stupid? Is it just like to put perhaps like your pens and pencils in? <laughs> it has like a gold foil detailed design on it. And then we have some books flying around, a lion, and then our main character. I think her name is Bryce but I'm not too sure. Then we have this little paper bag with like fire on it. Ooh, it's another metal bookmark. They've been doing a couple of these and I love metal bookmarks. It's called the Priory Metal Bookmark. So it is inspired by the Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I do not plan on reading that book because it's like 900 pages long and I feel like it's just not really my cup of tea, but it has like a little dragon on it climbing on a tower and then it has like these beautiful cutouts of clouds. I love this design so much and it has a little tassel on it as well and these are just super sturdy and I could always use another bookmark. Next up, ooh, okay, look, I don't like this book but I'm curious about the item. It's called A Kingdom of the Wicked, which I don't like. Acrylic standy? Oh! It's like a figurine or something. Okay, I'm not gonna keep this because I don't like this series and mm, it's not per se like an item that I'm super excited about, but I'm gonna try to find someone who would enjoy this little figurine because I don't really. <laughs> Next up, big pouch, mysterious. Ooh, it's a pin, I think. Yes, delivery cat. It's a delivery cat. I don't know, it kind of makes me think of Kiki's delivery surface, which I watched on the plane ride to Spain. Then next up, this is interesting. It looks nice. The Raven Sleep Cycle Pillowcases. Whoa, the hint littering, I, I need to figure it out for a little bit, okay? On one it says the head is too wise and then the other one says the heart is, the heart is all fire. <laughs> They're so pastely, but I don't really have like a matching bed pillowcase thing. I don't know how you call that in English. <laughs> so I might have to try and find one for it or maybe I could give this to someone else because I don't know how much usage I would get out of it if I'm being honest but I do think the design is really beautifully made. And you get two which I think is so thoughtful of them. Again unique item I have never received before in one of these bookish boxes. I think we're almost there just the two tarot cards that they have and I'm guessing that these are inspired by Kingdom of the Wicked. It kind of looks like it. And then last but definitely not least we have the book of course. I already see that the pages are bright yellow which I think is so cool. No clue again what the book was so we will find out together. Oh wait yeah okay Fire with Fire by Destiny Soraya. Wait I know her name. I own one of her books. Okay I mean I told you I didn't know what book it was gonna be but vaguely I remembered and I like this cover a bit less than the like original one I think but the story sounds cool I know that it has to deal a lot with dragons what if the story we've been told about dragons is wrong Danny and Eden Riviera were born to kill dragons but that's the only thing the sisters have in common for Danny dragon slaying takes a backseat to everyday high school life for Eden slaying is her life yet they both agree on one thing where dragons are concerned it's kill or be killed that is until Danny actually meets a dragon and ends up forging a rare and magical soul bond with him. As they grow closer, she begins to question everything she thought she knew. Suddenly, the one thing Eden and Danny always agreed on is the one thing that could tear their world apart. With Danny lost to the wrong side, Eden knows she'll have to risk everything to bring her sister back from the edge, even turning to the mysterious and alluring sorceress for help. Sorcerers. <laughs> now on opposite ends of an impending war, the sisters will do whatever it takes to save the other. But the two are playing with magic that is more dangerous than they can imagine. And there is another more powerful enemy waiting for them both in the shadows. 
sounds thrilling. It is signed by the author. Like I said, it has bright yellow sprayed pages and Ta-da-da. Ooh, it has like a golden embossed dragon in the mountains on the front cover. And the dust jacket art. Look at that, it's another dragon. I love it so much that the bookish boxes are doing special art with their copies as well. It just looks so, so neat. So yeah, the special fairy loot edition. Like it is a cool edition. It's just, if I think back of the original cover, it's not my favorite, but the story still stands strong. Hi. Okay, I have, I think this was the July Fairy Loot box. So let's open it together. I'm really excited for the book because I know what's in it and it is a very highly anticipated release. This is the July spoiler card and the theme is Tales Retold. So first off, we have a tin. Ooh, you can barely see the design like this because it's so, so shiny. And when you open it, it even has like a little, little lid. That's difficult to pronounce. Maybe you could like put some tea inside of this. It says, be glad of your human heart. Pity those who don't feel anything at all. A quote from Sarah J. Mass. Next up is a huge pouch. Oh, is this a book sleeve? I feel like this is a book sleeve. Spin the dawn book sleeve. <laughs> but it's very different from what they have like made previously because those were kind of like cotton or more like a pouchy material and this one feels kind of plasticky. I don't mean this in a bad way at all but it kind of looks like a children's illustration like it would be in a children's book. I think it's very cute. Is this? Yes! Oh my god. I don't know if bookish boxes have been featuring these types of items before, but this is a mini umbrella, which is actually perfect because I'm moving back to Utrecht in my dorm and I don't really have a nice little handy umbrella yet. I feel based on like the playing cards, it could be Ace of Space inspired maybe or like Alice in Wonderland. Oh no, I was wrong. It's a Heartless umbrella. So Heartless by Marissa Meyer Mayer. That is like a Alice in Wonderland story, I think. Oh, wait, <laughs> uh-oh, oh my god, I, I thought I broke it. <laughs> this is the umbrella. I think that looks very cute. Yes, loving this item because it's so useful. I love useful items so much. Oh, we have some socks again. Cinderella is dead crew socks. So these are very, very long ones and it has like a purple design on top of it with a beautiful blue dress. I wish though that they had changed the like outlines of this to like a different color because I feel like it's a lot of colors right now that are like in your face and perhaps if it was like dark purple I feel like the colors would have fit a bit better but they feel very soft and comfortable I think that those are all the items in this month's box so ooh, okay wait there's a little print on the bottom that's so pretty I don't know who this is or like which book series it is inspired by but that's a stunning print and lastly we have the two tarot cards which are also kind of like Alan in Wonderland inspired. And then we have the book for July and I'm so excited to see what the Fairy Loot Edition looks like. Ooh, okay, it has purple sprayed edges. It's so pretty. Oh, this is such a beautiful edition. So this is six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. And ooh, it has like little birds on the side as well. A princess in exile, a shape-shifting dragon, six enchanted cranes, and an unspeakable curse. It will take more than magic to find their way home. I also really adore the US cover, which really has like the girl more on front of the cover, but this one is so pretty as well. It is signed by the author and Underneath the dust jacket, we have a beautiful embossed design again of like, I think the main character of the series. And then on the inside, the dust jacket again has a stunning piece of artwork on it. I say stunning all the time. Why can't I stop saying that? <laughs> Let's read the synopsis together, shall we? Shiori Anma, the only princess of Kiara, has a secret. Forbidden magic runs in her veins. And on the morning of her betrothal ceremony, Shiori loses control. At first, her mistake seems like a stroke of luck for stalling the wedding she never wanted, but it also catches the attention of Rakama, her stepmother. A sorceress in her own right, Rakama banishes the young princess, turning her brothers into cranes and warning Shiori that she must speak of it to no one. For with every word that escapes her lips, one of her brothers will die. Penniless, voiceless, and alone, Shiori searches for her brothers and uncovers a dark conspiracy to seize the throne. Only Shiori can set the kingdom to rights, but to do so, she must place her trust in a paper 
Bert, a mercurial dragon and the very boy she fought so hard not to marry. And she must embrace the magic she's been taught all her life to contain, no matter what it costs. I am just so excited to own this book and add it to my collection. It looks beautiful. It sounds super interesting. I'm so excited that Fairy Loot chose this book as their July pick. Overall, I loved all of these boxes and I think that the books that they chose for them were fantastic and I'm just so impressed with how fairy loot keeps like improving their like special editions I love these sprayed edges so much and I think like the embossed designs on the front covers are like my new favorite type of thing that they are doing with their special editions right now if you enjoyed seeing these unboxings please give this video a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one bye